zero emission vehicles on the streets of California, but made in America by a Chinese brand. I'm in the Lancaster factory, the largest electric bus manufacturer in the United States. And I'm going to talk to someone from the company, a Chinese company called BYD, to tell me all about it. So welcome to this special edition of The Point with me, Liu Xin, coming to you from Lancaster, California. What are they doing now? Uh, so right now they are installed the floor of vinyl uh, on the floor. That's, that's part of the assembly work. Okay. So they're building these big coaches for American domestic market or for export? Uh, this is for the U.S. market. For the U.S. market. Yes, exactly. Okay. How many workers are there altogether in this factory? Uh, in this factory, we have uh, over 700 uh, employees. 700? Yeah. All yes. American, locally hired? They're all locally hired, yes. Okay. So these are transit buses. How many of these do you produce every every year? Um, I would say for this factory, for this factory, the maximum um, annual production can reach to uh, 1,500 uh, buses per year. Okay. But right now, the market is not in there yet. We actually haven't actually beat that amount. Right now, how many are you producing? Uh, right now, so far, we, uh, we produced uh, more than 700 buses um, here in the U.S. Okay. in this factory. Uh, how long has this factory been here? Uh, we actually uh, opened this shop since 2013. So uh, we expanded for four times. Right now, this entire facility is 50, uh, 550,000 square foot. Um, and we employ uh, more than 700 uh, people locally here mm. to produce the buses for the U.S. market. Was it difficult to open this, this factory in terms of paperwork, in terms of finding skilled workers, in terms of communicating, hiring the local staff? Um, I, think, I think it's always a, a, a process to go, right? Um, you know, this is a what we consider as a high-tech uh, factory because the products we are building here are, um, are the green technology based uh, zero emission buses. Okay. So, um, which is still a little bit of new technology for the market. So um, we, we do have our training programs basically help all the new hires to get familiar with our product, get familiar with the production process and being trained. And we also work with the local colleges uh, to basically train the new uh, young talents into the professional manufacturing workers okay. and to work with our facility. So it's always a process. So this is the transit bus production. What area is this? Uh, so this is our assembly line. Mm -hmm. uh, so we actually separate the entire uh, production into several uh, different big stations. So we have welding, we have painting, we have chassis, and the final assembly, and the testing. So this station right now is uh, the final assembly line. Final assembly line. Yes. Okay, so people are putting in everything. Exactly. Yeah. How complicated is it to produce such a big thing? <laughs> um, How long does it take to, to build such a bus? Uh, so normally it takes uh, 12 to 18 months um, after our entire specifications and design being confirmed. Uh, so, uh, you know, building electric buses is a very complicated uh, uh, process. There's a lot of the tech, new technologies, um, uh, you know, in the bus. Okay. And the unique thing about this industry or this product is everything is super um, highly customized. Mm. So each customer, they may have different preference uh, of different technology or system they want to use. So building a electric buses is almost like building a, a unique house per people's uh, different requirements. Can you show me an example? First of all, the new energy features. Mm -hmm. what, what, in this bus, for instance, what would be the new energy feature that you can point to now? 
Um, I, I, I think the most outstanding or the apparent uh, uh, new energy feature is this bus is a fully electric bus. Okay. Um, so unlike hybrid uh, or uh, the CNG, this bus is fully driven by our batteries. So wh where are the batteries located? Uh, so the battery locus is kind of in the rear uh, uh, portion of the bus and some okay. of them are on the top of the bus. Okay. And where do the batteries come from? So we have another uh, battery pack manufacturing plant called BYD Energy. They are about 10 minutes drive away from this location. Oh. So the battery packs are come from that factory and installed in here. Okay. So all so these transit buses are 100% made in America. Those buses are built from the scratch uh, from our welding station all the way to here. By American workers. By our locally hired American workers. So to the American market. Exactly. Oh, wow. Yeah, were people interested in working for BYD, a Chinese company? <laughs> of course, I think BYD is very popular in this area. Yeah. Uh, since we came here in 2013, uh, a lot of the great jobs opportunities is being created in here. People working here are working on the zero emission uh, uh, technology and the products that are going to solve the air pollution mm. issue from the transportation side. So many people are actually interested in, uh, in, in, in this this this. Uh, this factory mm -hmm. and plus the work are going to benefit the, the co community overall. Yeah. So yeah, um, I think hiring and you know train people to be a uh, professional uh, manufacturing uh, workers is always a process to go. Yeah. And, How long uh, do that, does that take normally? Um, most of the cases it takes uh, a project for people to get familiar with everything. Uh, we always have our experienced uh, 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 workers to train our new talents in here. If these experienced workers, do they come from China or do they come from America? Uh, they're locally hired. They're America. locally hired as well. So was it very difficult to um, adapt to the local market and talk to these people? Uh, no, I think, you know, get people, get a new, especially the new talents to get familiar with the product is always a process to go. Can I step into one of these buses, Stephen? Yeah, sure. Yeah? What's your step? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's how a transit bus looks like before it's completed. Yeah. <laughs> Never seen anything. It's quite complicated. Oh, of course. Um, you know, building a bus is a very complicated process. There's a lot of different type yeah. of system that yeah. are actually inside in here, you know, uh, electronics, uh, interior, exterior, uh -huh. so, yeah. What is he doing there? What is he doing there? I think he's preparing the work for the destination sign that goes to the top of the, okay. uh, of the bus, so I think he's doing part of that okay. uh, exterior body work. Yeah. All right, we better be away. Mm -hmm. Show me something else. Um, what about the back here? So, so um, what's in, what's underneath these? This area. Um, our our batteries and our powertrains are are part of the uh, equipment underneath the bus. Okay. All right. And of course, moving forward, there will be floor vinyls in there. We'll put the passenger seats in there and close all the uh, mm -hmm. uh, areas with the panels. Mm -hmm. And the batteries will be underneath this. Batteries, I guess they are, they are underneath this portion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's quite it's quite spacious. I mean, it's uh, yeah. is it custom made for American market? Uh, it is custom made. Uh, all of the projects are uh, have some sort of customization in there. For so, instance, uh, for instance, some customer will choose the seats they want. Like in like in terms of the seats, the floor, and some of the camera system. Yeah. A lot of the stuff are actually customer appointed or customer mm. preferred. It's kind of like building a house based on a customer's uh, preference. What is the most specific American demand or Californian demand? Um, I think California want a zero emission buses. That's the answer. <laughs> okay. Well, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let, let, let me see a little Just bit more. So obviously this bus has no exhaust. Oh, of course, as you can see, this is zero emission battery electric buses. So mm. um, we probably won't find this thing in this yeah. bus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's probably going to be quieter too. Of course. Yeah. Do Americans like that? You hear the zoom, zoom, zoom on the street. Oh, I think right now everyone like a quiet bus. Thanks. Quiet, clean. Quiet, bus. clean bus. And they like that too. Of course. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. So 
what are they doing? So they are installed the floor vinyls. Okay. And uh, they seem to be concentrating and yeah, enjoying what they're doing. Yeah, everyone's working very hard in here. How long do they normally work on a daily basis? On a daily basis, it starts from 7 to 3. 7 to 3? Five days a week? Yes. That's not bad. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Can I apply for a job here? <laughs> of course. HR door is right there. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful. Oh, this one is more fitted inside. Yes, this yeah. is more enough for the stage. Mm -hmm. Shall we see a finished car? And of course, we have one in the front of you. California Republic. Yeah, that's, that's the a... California state flag. State flag. Wow, this looks different. Was this, did it look like that just now too? It's totally different. This is a finished bus of versus course. the other one our students have been working on. But once it looked like that, what we saw just now. Uh, it will be it will be similar. It will be similar. Floor vinyl is different color and different finishing. Seats color and the patterns are different. Of course, the layout is different as well. Nice, nice. Can I try the seats? Of course. It's like a little, um, like a little house. Yep. <laughs> Safe and comfortable. Safe. It. Well, I don't know about safety. It does feel comfortable. <laughs> yeah, and uh, looks pretty sleek. Fine details. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Are the Are you happy with the finished product by the American workers? Yeah, I think they did a pretty good job. Um, you know, bring a very um complicated the product technology into the real world and with the good quality and the workmanship. So mm. yeah, pretty happy about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are they happy with their finished product? Of course, of course. Every are they time proud when, of it? Of course. Every time when they see those buses are running on the street, they will point out to their family and tell them this is the buses that they built here. By BYD, by, by BYD. a Chinese brand. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Um, how many of these buses are currently running on the streets? in uh, in california do you know uh in california i believe we we have more than uh 400 something uh right now mm. uh overall in the u.s we delivered uh more than 700 buses more than and 700. the majority of them are uh, in california uh this particular company that, that ordered this bus how many did they order uh they ordered more than 120 units uh, yeah. so it's a very expiring and exciting project to work on have you have you finished on time uh, yes, we are, we are currently in the process of delivering all of the buses. Yeah, so soon they'll be on the roads. Of course. Yeah. Uh, are there currently zero emission buses on the roads in California? Oh, yes, uh, there's, there's tons of already. Uh, oh. California is leading the zero emission buses uh, on the street. So yeah, they do have many zero emission electric buses uh, uh. currently you can see on the street. Mm. Yeah. What's your competitiveness? Um, I think for BYD's competitiveness is always our battery technology. Okay. Uh, we were a battery manufacturer before we are a car manufacturer. So battery is in our DNA. Um, and I think that's the most important and the critical component or core uh, to the buses. So that is BYD's advantage from day one. Are these the first zero emission buses on the streets of California? Uh, no, we start to deliver buses, you know, many years ago here in the U.S. Uh, so this is not the first uh, buses uh, on the street um, mm. by BYD. Just in this town, Lancaster, we have uh, more than 60 buses are built in this factory and oh. currently on the street. But when it all started, were you the first in building zero emission buses here? Um, I believe we are the early starters in here. Um, BYD really make a difference by bringing this uh, battery technologies into here and mm. really start to promote it, you know, decades ago. How do I look? <laughs> do I look like a good bus driver? <laughs> a reliable one. A reliable one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, what's this? 
So these are the exit cord. When passenger wants to get off the bus, uh, they drop this cord to remind the driver. I see. Instead of a button, they pull. Yes. That's pretty reliable, right? Yes, and unique. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a big workspace. Yeah, everybody is busy. Everybody likes the job they're doing right now, including myself. Steve, I'm really curious. You know, there's this big documentary about how American workers find cultural shocks working for a Chinese factory in the United States. I've seen, I don't know whether you saw that documentary. Do you have similar problems here? I mean, cultural differences, so on and so forth? Um, I, I didn't see such an issue here in um, our Lancaster factory. Um, I think everyone here, no matter what culture background, everyone communicated quite well with, you know, uh, the rest of the teams in here. Yeah, mm -hmm. because in the Chinese factory, the rhythm is very fast, right? There's much longer, there's longer working hour. Here, the working hour is probably different. The, the labor laws and the, the regulations are different. So is there a, a period of time where you have to get used to each other so that the factory runs smoothly eventually, finally? I think we all share the same goal in here, and as long as the goal is being shared and uh, the, the goal is being communicated clearly, mm -hmm. uh, we don't see any uh, issue or the problem to mm. work with each other. Mm. Mm -hmm. What was the most difficult thing, though, to explain to the workers that they couldn't understand in the, in, in the beginning? Can you recall? <laughs> like one concept that you have to repeat so that they get it. Uh, I think maybe for the new hires, you need some time to train them to understand the technology and how to manufacture uh, uh, the product. But I think after that the training process goes, uh, things can move pretty smoothly. What are the advantages of American workers? Our experience here is people in this area, they, are very, uh, they work very hard and they appreciate the opportunity they got and they understand how meaningful this job uh, for their family, for their individual, and for their future generation. Mm. So I think we've been, this group is very motivated to working here and we're very grateful to be here as well. Why did BYD choose to produce locally in California instead of uh, choosing somewhere else where the cost probably is lower? Mm -hmm. Well, I think there's a bunch of different kind of reasons, right? Uh, take an example for public industry. There's indeed have some local pr uh, production requirements. Uh, and also uh, take California, for example. California is really a place to embrace the new technology. And the state is really looking forward to have the green technology um, uh, uh, to, to throughout the entire state. So because of all difficult and reason, we choose to uh, produce our buses locally here in mm -hmm. California. Mm -hmm. What has this plant meant for BYD in its global strategy? Yeah. So um, you can see BYD buses in uh, almost 400 different cities uh, uh, for the entire world. And definitely U.S. is a very important market. This industry and this market right now is linked towards to the battery electric technology, which uh, we've been here in this sector for uh, quite a while. Uh, so uh, here being in the U.S. is definitely a very important footprint for BYD global uh, strategy and the expansion. Um, and it's also demonstrate that the green technology that we are working on can benefit the community, can benefit the people, can benefit the inside in society, no matter where. What did you personally learn from working here? Uh, collaboration. Um, definitely, you see here is a very diverse culture background and, uh, you know, the, the things always goes uh, very fast. So collaboration with your team, with a client, uh, with the vendor, uh, with business partners is always, um, I think, the, the, the good learning curve um, uh, for, for my, yeah. myself. Thank you very much, Steve, for showing me around. You're more than welcome. Thank you. Thank you.